Good day and welcome everyone. In this video, I will not be sharing a song composition to all of you, which why I make this channel for. But instead, I will be sharing to all of you one of the church fathers that we have in church history. As a Christian, it's important that we have a background in our church history and we have known some of our church father and their contribution. This particular video, we will be talking about Eusebius, who he was, and what are some of his contributions. Again, this is me, Paul A. Samiliano. Eusebius of Caesarea Eusebius was born in 260 and died in 340 century. Eusebius was born in Palestine. He was titled the father of church history. In terms of education, Eusebius received education under Pamphilus of Caesarea. Pamphilus was a disciple of Origen. Aside from receiving education from Pamphilus, he was also given a place of honor at the right hand of Constantine at the Council of Nicaea. He also experienced persecution of Christians in their place, which in fact made him to flee to Egypt. Now, I'm talking about the contribution of Eusebius. His greatest work is Ecclesiastical History. It is a survey of the history of the Church from Apostolic times until 324 century, with the purpose of making a record of the past trials of the Church long period of struggle. He was considered as the best source of knowledge concerning the church history of the church. During the first three centuries of its existence, he critically used many reliable documents. And the last contribution that I will be sharing is the life of Constantine. It is a source of information concerning the activities of Constantine as they relate to the church. He also wrote a laudatory biography of Constantine. Eusebius has countless works that contributed to the church history. If I were to put them all here, but if you are wishing to study more, I will be dropping some of the sources in the description below for further study. Now. If we are to trace down the roots of church history, Eusebius has greatly impacted the church in his time and even up to this present. He greatly influenced the minds of the people through his writings, and some of the result of it are what we have right now. Lesson learned Perseverance Perseverance to continue despite of persecution is one of the lessons that I have learned from the life of Eusebius. Every one of us cannot escape the fact that as Christians, we are facing and will face persecution in life. And it is important that we will persevere for we do not know how God will use us as we continue. It might be like Eusebius that God uses his life through his writings. We do not know how God will use us to impact the lives of others or even the church. And it might be through the skills and talents that we have that God might be glorified. So keep persevering, believers of Christ, and God bless.